Um, more house needs women because uh, you probably heard the phrase, women hold up half the sky. Um, women are people. <laughs> women are in this world and we are persons and we are scientists, we're mathematicians. I am Dr. Tara Taylor. I'm an assistant professor of sociology at Morehouse College. <laughs> Um, a job interview? No, <laughs> no seriously. Uh, <laughs> um, it's interesting because, you know, when you actually go for your job interview, they ask you that question. So why this institution? Why that institution? And it was it was really interesting during my job interview. I knew they were going to ask me, but I was like, don't say because it's the house. Don't say because it's the house. But that was literally my thought. It's the house. I went to Howard University for undergraduate. Um, my family is from the South, so I grew up, even though I'm from California and we had tons of um, UC, um, you know, colleges and universities, I knew that I wanted to go to an HBCU. And um, though my family is from Texas and Louisiana, so Xavier, Dillard, um, Southern, Prairie View, um, were very much popular and spoken up in my house. Um, Howard, Morehouse, and Spelman were like the trifecta. And so, the idea of actually working for Morehouse really felt like an honor and a privilege. So the idea of why Morehouse is like, one, I get to contribute to a particular education experience for black men. I get to contribute to the HBCU experience. So um, for me, why Morehouse was just, why not Morehouse? For me, it feels kind of like what I was destined to do. Um, I'm an older sister, I have brothers, but I was also raised by my grandfather. Um, I played co-ed sports. I was a part of a lot of uh, various co-ed organizations. Uh, matter of fact, in high school, we had a group called, um, it was actually a course, it was called Black Male Female Relationships. And when I was at Howard, I was a part of an organization called Ubiquity, which um, builds strong uh, relationships between black men and black women and to involve those relationships in the community. Um, so being a woman at Morehouse, it feels like all of my experiences came together to culminate for that in terms of being someone who is a champion for black men, champion for black people, period, but definitely a champion for black men, having a comfort in terms of understanding the wholeness of black men and not just trying to see them as this stereotype or this prism through this kind of one dimensional lens of, you know, women, men, but like seeing brothers, young men, and also even in terms of the gender expansiveness of black men. Um, it felt like this was a place that I was supposed to be. The other thing too is like being a woman at Morehouse, I don't feel isolated. There are tons of other sisters here, women here, who are um, just as engaged in the mission of Morehouse and engaged in basically educating these young black men. So being here, it feels honestly like a, a privilege and an honor. I think we're a community. I think we're family. Um, you know, I have this open door policy. Usually my doors open um, on Wheeler, so they can come in, talk to me. They can come in and work. They can come in and get snacks. <laughs> um, we, you know, sociology is also, you know, a social science where we deal with culture, we'll deal with social problems and issues, things that uh, many people can relate to. I mean, we're still science driven. But I think part of that, the topics that we cover, um, we create this space where students are comfortable expressing themselves and sharing their perspectives. And so that extends beyond the classroom. Um, many of my students, they've invited me to their, their games, <laughs> to their events, their art events, and I go. When I have the time, I try to support them, I try to go. So I think the relationship that I have with my students is also one of mutual respect. Um, as much as I see myself as an educator, they teach me. You know, there's times where I mispronounce words because I don't know Greek or Latin, and they, <laughs> and they will they will help me, like, well, Dr. Taylor, this is how you're supposed to pronounce it, right? It takes a woman. Um, so growing up being somewhat of a tomboy um, and always wanting to show that the girls can do it better, <laughs> like, it takes a woman. Um, really just resonates with me. One, in terms of we think about the ways in which, especially as a black woman, the ways in which we experience marginalization and subordination, but always knowing that we're capable. Um, so when I think of it takes a woman, I think about how tenacious and industrious women are, how organized they are, how they will see things through, how insightful they are. My name is Dr. Tara Taylor, and it takes a woman to make Morehouse, Morehouse.